Um, if you're in this position, maybe you know someone who's in this position and uh, you don't know what to do, um, maybe you don't know the steps to get out of it. Uh, a lot of people today are homeless and poor, have nothing, have no family and no uh, nobody to help them out and they don't know what to do so they're over at stores begging for money. Usually it's because they have a drug problem but if you're not the kind of person who has one of those problems um, and you're in this position you know probably right now you have a cell phone and uh, because you're checking this out on the YouTube so if you don't um, and you're using somebody else's phone or maybe you're helping someone I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step method my dad was uh, one of the people for the partner program for the welfare office and developing all the programs so I kind of know a little bit more about this than maybe some of you guys do um, so this might help you if you're in this position or you know someone who is so if you have no money no house no place to stay nowhere to go and you know you're in the US then there is help for you there is answers there's a way to get out of this situation and it's really not that hard you just have to do one step at a time and get out of this it's you can do it there's nobody who can't do this so the first thing you want to do is get to the nearest welfare office or the next step which is a Christian church but go to the nearest if you're on the weekend maybe you don't have any money no food and you're hungry um, you can find a church that's the next step but as soon as you can get to the nearest welfare welfare office and apply for food stamps sometimes you need an address a lot of people will help you out with that if you don't have an address um, sometimes you need an address to be able to get the food stamps um, I, I would even say if if you can't get an address I mean shoot make one up and whatever you have to do make sure you get walk out of that room and you've got food stamps okay that will help you you can go to like 7-eleven and you can actually get a sandwich okay so there's you can use it for that I mean you can use it for all kinds of stuff but I'm just telling you get some food stamps first of all get some food in your belly because if you have food in your belly you can think straight number two which could be number one um, if you're on a weekend and you have nothing notice you have no car no nothing okay you can do this if you have a phone or somebody to help you okay the next thing to do is call a Christian church. Now you might say, oh, Christian, I don't believe in that. Hey, I don't care if you believe it or not. There's tons of people, tons of churches uh, who help indigent people. That's usually what churches do with part of their the money that they get from the people that contribute to them. Um, a lot of churches, uh, Baptist churches especially, are very big on this. Baptist churches, um, any kind of interdenominational church or non-denominational church, you might have to call a few of them uh, to get this. And if you have your Obama phone, you can do that. If you don't, that's one of the steps in this. You could move that step up to number one and you find a place that gives you Obama phone or a uh, cell phone. But you do need an address for that. Okay, go to, now uh, this is, hygiene is important, you guys. There's no reason if you're broke, you have no money, that you need to be filthy and stinky. There's no reason for it, okay? There's restrooms all over the place. All you have to do is go inside, grab the soap, uh, take off your clothes, maybe even take off your underwear in the toilet area, and clean everything clean yourself get rid of the smell get yourself clean very important hygiene nobody wants to help a person who's dirty okay um, and you say to tell them what you did say hey I went to the restroom I cleaned myself up um, yeah, hopefully they have soap that's a really good thing if they have the soap there you can take some soap put it in the sink put your shirt in there rinse it out you know wring it out really good you know, uh, camp out in there for a little while if you have to. Get yourself clean, get rid of the smell, and um, and you can, you know, get your face cleaned up. Get yourself do the best you can. 
Um, that's really, really important right there, okay? Get a free cell phone. If you can get an address, somebody to help you out with that. And a lot of people don't have no family. This is you have no family, nothing. You could do this. There's a way to do this, okay? Get you need an address for a cell phone, but those Obamacare Obama cell phones are out there. Um, if you can, there's one per household available. So you can get a get a cell phone because you need a cell phone to get a job. All right. Then. After you've gotten your cell phone, you've gotten yourself established, you've gotten yourself some food in your belly, you're ready to, you know, start thinking straight again, go to a temp agency, tell them, I will do anything. I want a job, you know, tell them which experiences you have, if any, as long as you're not on drugs, um, you'll be able to get a job. There's jobs out there on a temp agency. Okay. Now the other the next thing, oh, the one thing I skipped over here, really important. Go to the Salvation Army. Yeah, they're gonna preach to you. You know, it's not a bad thing, you know. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Go there, humble yourself, walk in the door, tell them, hey, I'm homeless, I have no money, I need help. You know what? Those guys will help more people than anyone, any place. You go to Red Cross, they're gonna do crap for you. You go to Salvation Army, they're going to do something. That place um, is is one of the best places to go um, when you're in this situation. Ask them if they have any rooms available. Sometimes they have uh, housing. Um, that's a great place to get started. And if they're if you're not on drugs and you're out to get your life back going, um, they often will help you. Keep yourself clean no matter what. No matter where you are, no matter what you are doing, wash yourself every day. Every day, go find a place and wash up. Get clean. Very important, okay? It's because you can't get a job if you're, if you're filthy and stinky. Nobody wants to hire you, okay? The next thing to do would be once you've gotten your job, you've gotten your first paycheck, you find a room to rent. Okay, just a room. You don't want to. You don't want anything else. You want the cheapest thing you can get. Um, get yourself a room. And I'm going to tell you something that even if you don't believe in God, you, don't, you have no belief in God. There's no. You know what? There is a God, and He will help you if you ask for it. Pray daily. Ask God for help. Say, and then. But at the end of your prayer, ask it in Jesus' name. God will help you. He will help you if you ask in Jesus' name for anything. If you just say, God, can you help me? He doesn't answer that. It has to be in Jesus' name. So at the end of the prayer, say in Jesus' name, amen. What are you, whatever you ask for, you'll find this will do more than all of these things. But you won't see it. You will think that these things are what's happening. But this is what's really working for you. Pray and daily and ask God for help. Whatever you need help with that day, ask him for it. He's there. He will help you. And then go back to the Christian church <laughs> and ask them for help. It'll all work together. So this is the way out of a situation that anybody can do. There's no excuses. There's nobody out there that can that you know you, you, you that can't get out of the situation it's hard it's not going to be easy you're going to be doing this for a long period of time until you finally get to the point where you have a place you have established you you know you have a job you're getting paychecks every week and then you get a car if you need that um, you can take public transportation if you're in a city um, you can usually get a ride if you have a job you know people want to help you because you're working so those all things those are all the things you can do to get out of a bad situation. Hope this helps you out. Um, just a little bit of step by step to get you back on your feet.